So what are metallized fibers and lurex? Are they natural? Are they metal? Are they plastic? I have a yarn cone over here of lurex. Let's find out together. Hey guys, I'm Alberto and today we're going to talk about lurex or metallized fibers. Before talking about lurex, let's have a step back and let's distinguish metallic fibers from metallized fibers. Metallic fibers are aluminium, copper, stainless steel, all these technical yarns that are indeed used for technical applications such as electronics, building, nautical and also technical textiles. In fact, copper and silver yarns were used as antiviral fabrics during the pandemic. Then we have metallized fibers, such as lurex, in fact. Even according to the European textile regulation of fibers, these two words mean two different things, metallic and metallized. Lurex is indeed the name of the company, the Lurex company, LTD, now Sildurex Lurex, that invented this type of yarn. It's like lycra for elastan, scotch for tape and fisher for wool plugs. Lurex is called like this because in English to lure means to attract. Also the word lame is used also in Italy but it's not so common and according to the European regulation it's not correct. But what is lurex? How it's made? It's a yarn used for fashion, very loosened, that is made by twisting two plies or more together. One strong core which is normally polyamide or viscose and one flat plate yarn made of metallized polyester. This metallized polyester is basically a plastic film with lacquering which is this beautiful and brilliant and loosened. You can have millions different lacquering, gold, silver, blue, white and so on, depends on the paints that you use. As stated previously, I have a Lurex yarn cone over here and we will see through the linen tester how it's made together. As you can see from this video, Lurex yarns have at least two plies and these two plies are then steamed after the twisting process, just to pin the number of twists. As you can see, if I rotate the yarn, I can separate the metallic fiber from the core. In this case, the core is made of viscose and the flat loosened yarn is metallized polyester with lacquering. Metallized fibers are in fact fantastic guys, but they have two big problems. The first one is formaldehyde and actually lacquering increases the formaldehyde of the yarns and you can have some rich regulation problems, that's why Metallized fibers are not so much used for baby's products. As for the second big problem, it's scratchiness, guys. Metallized fiber actually increases the scratchiness on the skin and that's why you need to wash in the washing machine your fabric before sales. Can I write 100% metal on the care label? No, guys, watch out from metal. Metal is metal, as stated previously. You have to write metallized fiber. Not Lurex, Lurex is a copyright and it's a company. Can I write 60% polyamide or 40% metallized polyester? Even though it's right, because 40% is indeed metallized polyester, you cannot write it according to the European regulation, you have to write metallized fiber. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, please thumbs up and yeah, as usual, if you have any questions or any doubt, I am at disposal naturally, you will find my details below and yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.